being in an artistic household, my parents would buy different art books for, for that I had, we, all of us Deedlessy kids had to share. And uh, we had a few books that were highly coveted. One was Harry Abrams created this giant collection of Norman Rockwell's uh, Saturday Evening Post covers. And that was a fantastic book. My dad and mom had taken the famous artist course when they were younger that Rockwell was a part of. So Rockwell was definitely a big part of growing up in our household. My mom also bought us Brian Froud and Alan Lee's Fairies book in the late 70s, and that just blew my mind. Having a, a retrospective at, you know, at not even 50 years old at the Norman Rockwell Museum is a, is a huge success to me. It's very meaningful to me. I mean, I grew up copying his drawings and, and looking at that and wishing I could be an illustrator like him. So to have a collection of, of my drawings from you know, the beginning of my career to where I am now is, is an incredible milestone. It's, a, it's very meaningful to me to be able to have my work hanging alongside these, these paintings that, that are iconic now, legendary. When I think of Illustrator, I think, I think of his work and, and, and the idea of, of wanting to be someone who's remembered in that way, that, that all this artwork that I'm creating, these stories I'm telling, don't disappear when I disappear, that they, that they live on. This is an incredible, achievement for me. Uh, I, I thought like 70 year old Tony might get to see this. So the idea of, of 40 something Tony getting to see this is, is I'm waiting for my mom to wake me up and I'm still in seventh grade and awkward and playing Dungeons and Dragons and no one understands me. And, and it's just very much a dream come true for me.